Are you prepared to descend into the dilapidated depths of Playtime Co. for a gut-wrenching game of Predator vs. Prey? In the past year, we've witnessed a variety of the horrific creations from Playtime Co. However, all of which have been antagonists, the terrifying toys that terrorize the factory. Now Mob Games has cooked once more and has dished out another character to their expanding collection. This time around we've got the player as it's simply dubbed and this one is a protagonist to the complete opposite who is sure as hell gonna have a hard time fitting in with the rest of those goons. Now it's been a long time since I've reviewed one of these so let's get started. So you might have already picked up on the fact that I, there was a good few releases that happened from the glow-in-the-dark ghost hoggy that I never covered on the channel. Reason for that is that they were all just non-canon recolored hoggy woggies and I didn't need any more of those dangly fellas taking up even more space. So would you look at that? Awesome stuff. Wow. Things certainly have changed a lot since I bought the last one. They've now got their own bags, which is awesome. Just pits that more care into it little zip up bag that's incredible wow. wow so as we dig into this bag we'll unveil the newest character to the poppy playtime plus collection that is the player and wow i specifically and oh my god i did not expect that to happen so i specifically decided i had to pick this one up because this one looked too good i mean yes yeah, certainly a simple character but you can't deny this is a really neat looking plus right here so this character here is the player, so we're presumably being this thing throughout the entirety of Poppy Playtime. And you may recall that even Fat Mojo had the exact same design going for it. This very simplistic yellow fella who had to grab pack because otherwise you wouldn't even be able to tell it was goddamn Poppy Playtime. So as simple as this character is, there actually is quite a bit to unpack. So where to start? I'd say we go the usual route. We'll look at the tags first and foremost. So of course, these are the same tags they've been doing for quite a while now. Very standard black background, your iconic Poppy Playtime logo on there. And the back of it, not really much details, but you do get this QR code, which if you scan will bring you directly to the official Poppy Playtime merchandise store. So pretty cool. And then the touch tag here, Playtime Co. Wearing James, which is the company that like, I think it's produced, like, distributes them, I'm pretty sure, manufactures them. Obviously, it's mob games who creates the bases and whatnot. Pretty sure they manufacture them, though. And now we'll make our way through the details of this plushie and see if it's worthwhile for the same $30 price tag as all those other Poppy Playtime plushies. So, the face here, well, that's a nice start. It's the most nothingness as it can be. Totally emotionless. Looks like we got a new gen Slenderman on the block here because that is a blank ass face. And you got a little seam going down the middle of it where they stitched it. Looks a little odd. Looks like a sister location type faceplates. But hey, that's just the way it is. Nothing to talk about really. It's just a big squishy ball. And then for his body, we're just going to pretend this grab pack doesn't exist. Because it's a whole nother story which I'll get into after we look at the rest of the actual player itself here. So we've got a humanoid body here. Arms and legs. I've definitely made this joke before. But we got the skill PowerPoint guy coming at you. And yeah, this is pretty neat because there's actually little, kind of, I don't know the name of them, but there's pieces of, like, that help, help with the flexibility. So pretty much you can put it into awesome poses, which is quite a nice bonus feature. I was really expecting stuff like that anyways, considering you're paying 30 bucks for just the blank guy. So it's nice that they did something like this. You can do all sorts of wacky poses with it, same with the arms. But what really matters now is I want to look at this grab pack and then we'll have a little fun with the whole posability aspect. Okay, so the element that really sold this plushie to me, and to probably a lot of you people as well, is the presence of this super detailed grab pack. Because obviously for 30 bucks, you can't just get the, the yellow blank guy, huh? So, he's complete with the iconic grab pack. And what's super awesome, and as you've seen as soon as I pull this out of the packet, there's a bunch of removable pieces. Both the arms can be pulled off. Unfortunately, there's no string or recoil or no function to it. Obviously, it's just a plushie. But you can kind of... To an extent, replicate the grab pack. Wow. You know, give you a little, give you a little jump scare, huh? Yeah, you thought that was awesome. You've got your two colored hands here that can be removed. Well, that's not all. You can also remove the grab pack itself, or so I think, because you can pull this piece off. And look at this. This is so detailed. So you've got the straps around, and then the actual piece that makes the you know, the little machinery aspect to it that'll actually make the grab pack function. So we got the arms to it. 
And look, you can take both of these off and the straps can also be removed. Give me a second, I'll get there. Remove the straps so you have a loose pack card. A loose um, grab pack. You can only begin to think of the possibilities that could come with that because now we have our own grab pack here. However, the very unfortunate thing about that is that these little pieces here can't be removed. So that means that you won't really be able to officially clip this onto something else. It also means that you can't magnetically fuse your grab pack hands here so you can't actually make them stick on, which is very unfortunate. So now we have a loose grab pack kit. What exactly are we going to do with such an invention? Of course, we're going to go ahead and do the exact opposite of what they'd want us to do. We're going to give Huggy Wuggy the grab pack. Surely nothing could go wrong with that, right? And now Huggy has enough power and force to dominate and eradicate all of mankind. And I'm not going to lie, I think it looks pretty badass. Quite the fit indeed. I just really wish, I mean, I'm not sure how it would work. Actually, yeah, you just clip these. I really wish these two pieces were removable total missed opportunity for sure and it really just limits the amount you can the amount of enjoyment you can get out of this grab pack but hey i guess the close you're gonna get is you can just kind of have these hands and just put them on the end of here of course they're not gonna stick but you can use your imagination and pretend that they do and boom look at them coming at you all right enough dilly dallying we've now got the grab pack back onto the appropriate entity with the player here and let's not forget we also have the nice posability that comes with it. I also like, I'm just noticing here as well. I'm not sure if this is intentional. Definitely seems to be, it's not just stitching, but they've got little line details on the player, which is pretty neat. It's kind of, I mean, I guess it could just be the seam slash the stitching, but it definitely looks pretty intentional to me. Oh yeah, and let's not forget, we've got posability with this thing. Both of the arms, as well as both of the legs, can be posed to your desirability. So let's, let's have some fun. Oh yeah, I'm back to crush another f show. Who's this? Who? Oh. You did not just betray me like that, did ya? I'll kick you in the nuts. Oh yeah, and the hands are also posable. You can move these arms about to your own consent. Hang on, what are you doing? What are you- So overall, what do I think about this player plush? Overall, I think it's pretty good. And if you're a diehard Poppy Playtime fan and a collector, I think you need this guy. Honestly, I just think general Poppy Playtime enjoyers need this guy because it is besides the main character. And of course, a huge plus that really stepped this plush up a lot was the addition of this grab pack. However, nitpicks would be the weird seeming in some places. Of course, just the character. I mean, it's kind of just a complaint for the character in general. It's far too simplistic. Why is it just the totally blank expressionless nothingness of this yellow fella? But hey, at least you've got the grab pack going for it, which was an absolutely unreal addition and really made me want to buy this thing. But unfortunately, a complaint that comes with that is the fact that these pieces aren't removable, which is a huge missed opportunity. But overall, player plus year, pretty damn good, and I think could definitely be worth your time.